What you'd expect in Chicagoland in November on third and ten. They swing it for Garrett Groshek and he's dropped for a loss. Chris Bergen, one of those three linebackers that Todd talked about. The quarterback play. Wisconsin brings pressure. Ramsey rolls to his right and fires. And is that a catch? Apparently is in bounds at the 39-yard line. Managed to catch 51 balls despite the problems at quarterback. So it's second and three for Ramsey. Fires over the middle for a first down. The John Ring. 12th catch of the year, third on the team. Play fake by Ramsey under duress. He fires downfield. That's caught in bounds. Leave the big fella speed back. Starting defensive lineman in now leading the way for Ramsey, and that play is going nowhere. It's actually going in reverse. CJ gets drop Ramsey back at the five. Badgers cannot be happy with the officiating here through the first four minutes. First and goal from the two. Ramsey has an open man and a touchdown. Indiana is legit. They are. They're Seven real points. On the 21 on first down, Jalen Berger. We need to find people who can make plays. Berger, the leading candidate. Graham Mertz on target. And there is a first down for the Badgers to the 35-yard line. Eric Groshek is the running back. He's back stretching this week. Mertz pulls it down. Seemed to welcome the contact. This is a different animal at this Northwestern defense. They're going to have to make plays through the air. Groshek lost the football after he got collared. They have the line of scrimmage in the one catch. Great opportunity to strike right now. And they go to some trickery. This is going to be a pass from Riley Lees. Has the man open! And down to the goal line. Lines up in front of Isaiah Bowser. Bowser. The ball's out. And it's a touchback. It's a fumble and a recovery by Wisconsin. And if anybody returning who had had a 100-yard career rushing game. Mertz, good fake. Has a man free. And it is caught. And it is a touchdown for Chevrolet DK. Mertz's pass is complete. First of his career for the speedy freshman from Waukesha, Wisconsin, who grew up a big Badger fan. This Kyrick McGowan bounced out of bounds for a loss of about a yard. In the Big Ten West on the line. Mertz. Across the line of scrimmage, has the first down and much more. Doesn't slide down, takes a hit, and has the first down out at the 40-yard line. But they would stick with the hot hand Mertz if he continues to play like this. Cone took him to the Rose Bowl last year. Falls out, Mertz, sacked and stripped. Pile up for the ball at the 31, and the Wildcats have it. Well, they were the 4 and 0 fifth in the country. And they have two already here in the quarter, and Cam Porter nowhere to run. Nine out of ten now, and third and one, they go to a play fake, and he's in trouble, and did well to hang on to the ball, as Eku Leona took him down for a sack. Oh, that's a tough ball against Wisconsin right there. Drake Anderson, the ball carrier, tripped up by Rashawn Wild Goose. Of going to the Rose Bowl 25th anniversary of that. There's Jalen Berger with some space on the edge. And a nice run by the freshman. Well, he was a great, great player, too, as a linebacker. He's got three really good ones on this team, too, that he enjoys watching. There's Groshek on third down and 10. They go to a running play on third and long, and it works. As a starter, got a six year of eligibility. Great to see him back. Played very well for you, Joe Rudolph. Deflected pass and another turnover. Brandon Joseph intercepts it. From Evanston, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Northwestern tied at seven. The Badgers just committed their third turnover to half. And on first down, Peyton Ramsey lobs one to the sideline and a catch by Cam Porter. The Harvard of Central New York Syracuse University is back in the tennis. High throw, another turnover. Intercepted by Brandon Joseph. Two lost fumbles. 
two interceptions. They have committed just one turnover in the first two games, a lost fumble at Illinois. And that's why they've been able to play in sudden change defense today so well. Looks from the corner, picked up by Drake Anderson. Ramsey, a nice throw on the move for a first down to Tyreek McGowan. Who's their last? The Wildcats have all three with under a minute 30 left here in the half. And they'll get the ball to start the third quarter. Ramsey fires to the far sideline. And out of bounds. To 10 on the 25. Ramsey 15 out of 19. Most of them short throws. This one's a long throw. Beautiful throw. There he is for RCB. Joe Rudolph, the offensive coordinator. Swing pass, Groshek. Out of way. And got a first down and out of bounds. That's his first career 100 yard rushing game. Nakia Watson gets the call here. Force a bad throw into a bad place on this third and long. Ooh, problem on the exchange. They're there to smother it. Eric Gross check. Here comes a blitz, and Mertz gets taken down back in the 33 yard line. Neither team has scored here in the second half. Only one score since the first quarter. Up for grabs and caught. A huge field goal attempt from 32 yards, and he is right down the middle. We have 13 on third downs coming into this play. Mertz fires into traffic, battle for the ball. They think it's an interception on the Northwestern sideline, and it is. Pressure up the middle. Ramsey fires behind his intended target. And is it a catch? I think it was a catch. With guys that uh, are not used to being in this position. Roshek taken down by Patty Fisher for a big loss. That'd be an interesting decision for Paul Fisher and staff. will be in the next few weeks. You know, Ohio State is still the team that everybody is kind of chasing in this league. And uh, they played them in the Big Ten Championship before. And this, uh, that would be a challenge for them offensively. And now there's no chance. What a turnaround for Pat Fitzgerald and Northwestern. 3-9 and nine last year. 5-0 and oh this year. 5-0 and oh for the first time since 2015.